Oh, well, but Jamie's Rock and Soul's gone all educational today. He's going to tell us all about Stanley Park. Come on now. Oh, hello, viewers. Welcome to another episode here on Jamie's Rock and Soul, here at Stanley Park. 260 acres of our green, beloved space right here in Lancashire. Isn't that right, love? See, the locals agree. So we're gonna start the little tour off with this uh, wonderful amphitheater and some locals who are gonna give us a wave. Enjoying the sunshine and the warm weather. Uh, this was built in the 1920s by a guy called Thomas Mawson. And this is the bandstand. And if you come in the summer, lots of live entertainment right here. For look in this wonderful lake full of wildlife. We've got swans, we've got geese, we've got pigeons, we've got seagulls. And also today, it's a lovely day, we've got boats. When we get to the big 10,000 subs, this is where we're going to have the party and we're all going to sing it together. We are the champions, my friends. So I'm going to take you on a little tour, tell you a bit about the history of this magnificent park, viewers. Just to think, people have been coming here for over 100 years and even longer. Back in 1870, when we had the population boom and everybody come to Blackpool, they wanted to make attractions both for young and old. So granddad can enjoy himself, dad can enjoy himself and all the kids can enjoy themselves as well. And I'll tell you what, Jamie's rock and soul's enjoying himself as well. Come on, birdies. And as you can see, the very tape. That's it, mate. You dry your feet, mate. Come on, mate. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Uh, if you never see me again, you know I've been eaten by uh, ducks. As you can see, he's a bit of a greedy one, him. The swans have such elegance, look. They're so patient, look. Okay, that's the ducks fed. The viewers who to subscribe to, boys. Who is it again? Jamie's Rock and Soul. Hello. Hello viewers, and even teddy bears are allowed on this park. How are you, mate? I'm all about saving money. Cup of coffee, free of charge. Oh, what a lovely spring day. I finally took my coat off. Mmm. Taste them savings. Got the train, give us the horn. Hey! I think it's about a pound, a pound fifty to ride. So the park boasts these beautiful Italian formal gardens and right here we've got the fountain made out of Italian marble viewers with various statues scattered around, beautiful flowers here in the springtime, lots of people enjoying the sunshine and it even boasts two Medici lions up there near the Art Deco Caf. Let's go and have a look. So these little fellas overlooking the Italian gardens, uh, these are called Medici Lions. There's two of them. This way. 
This is the Art Deco Cafe viewers, uh, also designed by Mr. Mawson in the 1920s. Um, about five years ago, it used to be derelict, but they've regenerated it. It's got the nice flag on the top, the king's flag. And there's the nice guy who works there. So, and it's reasonable value as well. I did once call in here for a lasagna and a coffee. And I think it cost me less than a tenner with an ice cream. So that's where you go. So this part was opened uh, on October the 2nd, 1926 by a gentleman called George Edward Villiers Stanley, whom the park is named after. Here's uh, one of the bridges, um, also designed by Mr. Mawson, uh, which separates the boating lake from the woodland uh, area, uh, a natural habitat for wildlife. Look at it, it's beautiful, isn't it? Very relaxing. You can also do a bit of fishing here on Stanley Park. A lovely gentleman right here with his little doggy. Uh, we've got our Dave who's been fishing today. How are we, sir? How many years have you been coming here then? Uh, probably 20 odd years. Wow, have you caught anything today? No, I'll just set it up now. Sometimes it's not about catching anything, yeah. is it? Look at the view. Been out amongst it a lot of the time. Oh, wonderful Get stuff. Get away from the kids. <laughs> Don't blame you, mate. Well, um, be lucky. And I hope you get a fish that big. <laughs> also, Stanley Park also has an 18 hole golf course for all you keen golfers out there. I'm not going to stay on here too long. I don't want a stray golf ball to whip me in the head. But after a hard day of boating and enjoying yourself and feeding the ducks and uh, exploring, you can come here for an ice cream. These wonderful people reasonable prices say hello love Hi. a skate park and another recent addition to stanley park is this brilliant pro level international bmx racetrack look at that it's got berms and bumps and tabletops and stunning views Rock and soul. With the kind permission of these uh, top lads up here, here on Stanley Park on the BMX track or whatever bike you've got, we're going to watch a bit of racing. Let's go! There they go, viewers! Look at them fly. Is he going to do a jump? Oh, he's jumping them. Do you remember my efforts in the previous vlog when I went flying on the first bump? There they come. The second straight over the bunny hops. These lads have got some style. There they go. Round the speed berm. Into the finishing straight. Ryan, the final berm. Here they go. Come on, lads, put your foot down. I bet they're getting tired now. We've also got numerous tennis courts. I think there's uh, four or five of them. Uh, it's very cheap to come and play outdoor activities. I'll put it all in the description for you down below. Right at the center of Stanley Park, we have got Cocker Tower. Uh, built in the 1920s, uh, dedicated to Mr. William Cocker. Uh, this is the north facing door. Give us a wave. So obviously if that's north, then that must be south. That must be east. And that must be west. You know how to remember, never eat shredded wheat. Thank you. It's not just tennis courts and BMX tracks or skate parks. There's also football fields as well and uh, We've got spotlight so you can have nighttime matches, all there to improve your mental health and stop you sitting in the house getting fat. 
watching boring shows on the telly. Get yourselves out to your local park, take part in some outdoor activities. Stanley Park also boasts uh, an athletic centre and I'm very proud to say that my oldest daughter, many years ago here, set the record for the long jump. When my grandchild arrives, no doubt I'll be bringing him here. Right viewers, I've got a question for you. We're trying to decide a first name for the baby. The middle names is going to be Jamie Benjamin. Make some suggestions for the first name, please. And here comes Thomas. Hello there, Thomas. Thank you. Just before you leave the park, they have a brilliant sports centre. When my daughters and my uh, son was growing up, they spent many a happy hour in here. It's fully equipped. Basketball, there's a gym, showers, changing rooms, netball, football, lots of activities. And even a cricket ground over there. This is our final port of call before I head off. Finally, we go to the Gardens uh, of Remembrance. Uh, right here, just off the centre of the park. Uh, lots of benches and that, remembering loved ones. Uh, leading to the boating lake. So I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a cup of coffee, a bit of lunch, and if you look. It is spring and the flowers are starting to bloom. I apologise, I don't know what they are. If you know in the comments, uh, do please let Jamie know. Uh, but isn't it beautiful, eh? A perfect place to have a brew. We've got a pano chocolate. A bag of <laughs> very crushed up smoky bacon crisp and some coffee the forecast rain at five o'clock so uh, let's enjoy the good times and the warm weather right here in the remembrance gardens i hope you've enjoyed uh, joining me on this beautiful spring day my coat's off i've got my nescafe I got me squashed up crisps and me cake. I'm gonna eat these, enjoy the scenery, and then I'm gonna go home. Oh. And the best thing about it is, it's not cost a penny. See you later, my little mate. <laughs> it's been a very positive day today. A shout out to Eli and Megan, a lovely young couple sat enjoying the sunshine hello Eli hello Megan thank you so much for the subs you'd be good to each other now so until the next time don't forget to hit that like button get notifications subscribe and I'll catch up with you all soon love yes bye